What's going on, my friends? Ricky Burroughs here from rickyburroughs.com. Today, I want to talk to you about how to have a purpose-driven life. Every day, I wake up in the morning, and I have a sole purpose and a sole mission, and that is to use the gifts and talents that God has given me, the living God has given me, to, uh, to help people. And that is truly your primary purpose in this life, is to love the Lord your God and to love one another, to help other people. The Bible talks about when you help other people, you're actually helping God. And when you steal from people, you're actually stealing from God. So there's this, you know, there's this reciprocity here where, you know, you help other people and in the in the end, you actually help God. The two greatest commandments in the Bible are to love the Lord your God and to love one another. And above this, there there is no there is no greater law. So when your purpose in this life is to uh, to dwell on, I want you to pay attention to this. I want you to dwell on the problems that you know you can solve, and I want you to go out there and I want you to solve those problems. Now, you're going to come across the times where you're going to see problems that you have never faced in your entire life, and uh, it's going to be scary at times. But don't be overwhelmed. All you got to do is just take it one small step at a time. Remember, all these big problems in your world are just a bunch of small ones. So attack the small ones, one small thing at a time, and then it'll look like you solved a really big problem. But really, all you do is you solve a bunch of small problems. So to have a purpose-driven life, you have to have this drive and belief that what you're doing is actually going to help and benefit other people. So when you get up in the morning and you focus on that, that's going to lead you to uh, bigger and better doors. So keep focusing on that and uh, drop a comment if you've found your purpose in this life and let's talk about it.